So before we get started on this episode, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am okay. I am well. I had a very, very, very insane sinus flu something that just knocked me out for about a week. I'm still very weak and I'm getting my strength up and back to normal and today we are going to be visiting disney springs no agenda just walking around wanted to see some new merchandise kind of just wanted to see what was going on and i needed to put a video out you guys are going to get to tag along but i am okay i'm well the sickness has passed me and uh moving on but it was it was rough on today's episode of world of micah we're going to Disney Springs. It's been a while since I've been to Disney Springs. Been feeling under the weather lately. Got a sickness about a week ago, and I needed to get some sunshine and some TLC. Now. And I decided some of the best medicine was to get out and go walk around a little bit here at Disney Springs. It's been a minute since I've been here to Disney Springs. Parked in the Lime Garage. Man, look at this, Chippendale. You get a large, a grown shell filled with chocolate chip cookie dough and dark chocolate ganache with crispies. Gonna head inside World of Disney. It's been a minute since we've been in here. Dude, Oswald has all the stuff. Look at this. It's so cool. This little vehicle and the plush with the banjo. Get your own ears, t-shirt. Man, look at that. Pre-90s. And all the 100th anniversary stuff's out so much different stuff for 100 years of animation but it all started with you pal yeah i was curious if they were going to have something for for steamboat that's a really cool ornament it's really heavy too wow so much mickey mouse stuff Definitely some like 90s inspired. Man, see this is the kind of stuff they had when I was a kid. Yep, Mickey and Company, the green, that snapback hat, so 90s, so awesome. Oh yeah, the sweatshirt and this right here. You kidding me? So 90s, I love it. Seems like they changed this whole area up here to Pixar. Which is pretty cool. They got like a whole bunch of new merchandise for Pixar stuff. Oh man, look at that. You can get a Carl and an Ellie. Little plush. This one's a little messed up. Just in time for summer look at that laid back summer little tray here oh man everything you need for the summer right here look at that fun in the sun it's like one of the last remaining things of the 50th to be honest with you i'm not really sad that it's gone the 100th anniversary stuff is way better than the 50th stuff in my opinion they got these new like model kits you build the castle here, but you can also get the haunted mansion. Isn't that cool? And this is the the new monorail for 2023. They completely wrapped it with the characters. The spaceship Earth, right there. Yep, yeah. new monorail, right there. And there's where you can put your little characters in the doors it's cool that it's like completely wrapped by the way i love all the new 2023 stuff look at this isn't that cool 
they did a great job with the 2023 merchandise in my opinion love this Adventureland shirt and look at this button down here little pieces of the park all over it all right gonna head out of this store head on to the next one got a band out here on the waterside stage under the sea yeah under the sea Let's see what's changed inside the marketplace co-op. Well, the orange bird's still here and you can still see where the, the five and the zero was for 50th, but they have removed it, but it's still a photo op here. And the last few remains of the preview center, the first building ever that was open to the public on property. The building's still here, it's actually right down the street watch these uh these tvs all day with the different footage they have look at that how neat is that right and they'll just continue changing as you're here but you could just like twist the knobs and look there's twenty thousand leagues under the sea on a mansion oh look here's the conference room the original plans of walt disney world Hitchhiking Ghost. It's constantly changing as I keep watching. Here's Tomorrowland. Love this old footage. And now they have all the Disney Studio stuff here. That's amazing, that Disneyland. A lot of Walt Disney Studio stuff here. It's awesome. Love the hat. And this like work jacket here. And they completely changed Cherry Tree Lane out with a marble section. It's all marble merchandise throughout here. No more, you know, the Wonderland Gallery or any of that stuff. I would wear the heck out of this shirt. That is pretty awesome. You know I'm going to. Let's go see what's going on in here. Love this place. Ooh, we got some new stuff right here for the uh, 100. Some pins. Look at that. Is that Clarabelle? Yeah. And Horace. That's so cool, man. The Oswald stuff. I'll tell you what, Oswald's getting some love, and I'm not mad about it. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Totally getting some love for the Lucky Rabbit. Someday soon, I'm going to get a new Magic Band, one of the new ones here. I love these the little designs on them. Stepped inside the Christmas store because it's a little warm outside. Big fan of these. Check this out, man. Magic Kingdom train station. Turn around. There's Mickey. We've got all the facades here, Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's see what's on the back side of Pirates. Let's see, is this Little Mermaid? It is. Little Mermaid here, there she is. I just think these are cool. At one point they had like Walt's like apartment, you know, the, uh, the fire station from Disneyland. And... Oh look, they got some more attractions over here. Peter Pan's flight. Space Mountain. I really want this. If anybody's interested. <laughs> this is my favorite Disney cartoon of all time. Trick or Treat. Starting the nephews, Donald and Witch Hazel. This literally started it for me. Also grew up with DuckTales. Getting the sweet smells of Goofy's Candy Shop. So I'm walking into the, the Art of Disney. Love this store. 
just really hasn't changed much. And that's what they have in here, a lot of Disney art. This is a kick drum and they turned it into a table. How cool is that? And yeah, you can get a Walt Disney signature. That's him and his brother Roy. But also one of my favorite things you can do is come up here and watch one of the animators live. She's over here doing uh, Tinkerbell with the, uh, with the kiss as a hat. I don't need this, but I want okay. this. I definitely don't need it, but I definitely want it. Love Big Al. Look at that. That's a yucking good uh, painting if I've ever seen one. Powerline and the cast of a goofy movie. Even Bigfoot. Dang, they even have Henry and Big Al. 150 bucks for these. Isn't that cool? Little figures. That was fun. I think I'm gonna go into Goofy's Candy Company just to take in the free smells, man. They really don't have a whole lot in here right now. It's kind of weird. Like their displays on the on both sides over there are kind of bare, as you can see. I mean, this one has like a few cupcakes, but nothing like extravagant like it normally does. And that orange bird right there, he looks very concerned or irritated. This was fun. I'm glad I got out and stretched out my legs a little bit, took in some of the, the sights and sounds and even the smells of Disney Springs. And I wasn't here very long, but I was here long enough to get some fresh air. That's what I needed. A little bit of Disney, a little bit of magic, a little bit of TLC. But this is fun. Episodes should resume as normal. I'm feeling a whole lot better, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. Yeah.